My name is Sean Burcham, and I'm an engineering supervisor with Baymar Solutions. So Baymar is a contract engineering firm that operates across multiple industries. As you can imagine, operating within all these industries and managing projects simultaneously can be, can be quite a tedious task. I find that on a daily basis, I'm wearing multiple hats. I may start the day as an engineer, but I'll get a call from one of my clients and he'll ask how a project's going, so I have to put on that project manager hat. Or I'll get an email from a colleague asking me to review a drawing, and I have to take off that project manager hat and put on that draft or designer hat. I'm always trying to find better ways to improve my task management and time management skills. So you're working on these two projects, and, and a couple weeks go by, and then suddenly you look down at your plate, and you're managing four or five tasks all at the same time. And you find yourself struggling just to take in information and keep up with communications. You're essentially treading water on these projects. Now what I'm about to say isn't new, it isn't revolutionary, but what I can tell you from my own experience is that most people tend to overlook this information that I'm about to tell you. This time is precious in a multi-project environment. Use it wisely. You should know what's being asked of you. You should know your deliverables. Because once you figure out your end goal, then you can start to take steps to get there. And a good way to do this is by using your calendar. You could use your calendar to block out time. Say, hey, I'm gonna work on this task an hour today. Yes, it's only an hour, but an hour is still making progress, and there's a lot to be said about that. Another thing this does is it lets others know that you're busy and not to bother you. Now, I wanna change gears for just a quick second and talk about something that could potentially waste a lot of time. These are roadblocks. When I first started my career as an engineer, I sat in meeting after meeting and people would discuss all the things that are going wrong on a project. And by the end of this meeting, we had a list of problems with no solutions. So I challenge you to do this. When you encounter a roadblock, come up with a solution to that roadblock, or three solutions. Don't just go to the meeting and tell people what's wrong. Tell people what's wrong and how to fix it. And then communicate that. Communication is key. And the key to communication is details. Be clear in your details. Details, details, details. I can't stress that enough. You know what you're talking about because you're the subject matter expert. But other people may not have all the details that you have. They might not have the personal experience with the task or project that you're working on you need to convey that to them. And a good way to do this is to know your audience. When you know your audience and you know what they like, you can tailor your response. If they like pictures, send them a picture. If they like presentations, give them a presentation. If they like meetings or phone calls, schedule a meeting, pick up a phone. Do whatever it takes to make your details their details. But a good way to capture those details is to take plenty of notes and be clear in your notes, project communications, uh, upcoming due dates, uh, changes to the scope of work. Uh, these are all things that you should have in your notes. You should be able to look at your notes and see the project evolve in front of you. And your notes should be able to tell you exactly what's going on. Now there are plenty of tools to do this work. I myself use OneNote. My daily routine consists of me sitting down at my desk and I open up my OneNote and I have all my projects listed and I'll go through each one and update all the communications and details for that specific project or all of my specific projects. And then I will communicate that with my team. My point here is that you need to define your process and then use the tools accordingly. You shouldn't define your process by the tools you use. If you build a recipe for success and adaptability, you only find success in your future. Thank you all.